What's up, Peep Squad? Peep Squad is in the building, baby. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. My peeps, my peoples, Peep Squad is in the building. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get down to the situation. We're growing up hip hop. It is going down. Yes, Bow Wow is the father. It is his baby. It is his child with a woman he don't even know that is a stranger. But in any event, Bow is going to be a good father, a.k.a. Shad Moss is going to handle his business. But mm mm Mm. Hopefully he learned a lesson this time But in any event he's happy that he got his son Even though he questioned the validity Of the whole situation And everything of that nature on national TV About his son and his son Is going to end up watching the episode and the show But in any event Wrap it up so, let's get down to the nitty gritty when it comes to Remarkable. Remarkable is feeling a certain type of way because she feels like the brat is coming for her and the brat got an issue with her. And so, she addressed it on Instagram because she was feeling a certain type of way. Let me tell you, the way they did Remarkable at the end of the episode was dirty. They came at her. They came at her craft. They came at who she was. They came at her behavior. They came at everything. But they didn't say ish all season. All of a sudden, with the last episode, let's get on Brie. You know, because Brie's not protected on that show Riri's not protected on that show you know only because of she's not really related to anybody she don't have any relationships with anybody of that nature so therefore they let her to be the scapegoat to get mistreated like she is you know a bad person is she not she do got an attitude and everything else but her attitude is survival attitude her attitude is the attitude where I had to work hard I came up in a pain I came up in a mud I had no help and people try to discredit me and put me down and basically for me not to believe in myself so therefore she do got a chip on her damn shoulders but in any event she addresses the brat on her instagram so check it out mm, mm, mm. it is what it is baby straight up mm, mm. one of the worst feelings is growing up looking up to somebody and then you get to meet them when you get older and they exactly opposite of what you thought they was I've been on Growing Up Hip Hop for two seasons. And each season, the brat gets on television and talks bad about me every fucking season. I have had nothing but the utmost respect for the brat. Not one person in this industry has ever met me and told me that I'm not humble. I come from the mud. I come from poverty. Why, why do you act entitled? The editing, the way they want to portray me on television is sickening. I see why people get on television and when they leave, they be mentally Because it's fuck. What you watching ain't even reality. It's not my reality. Thank God I'm strong. But what's not gonna happen, I'm not going to allow a person or a television show, no matter what caliber you on, take away that I'm humble, I'm kind, I'm luck, I'm hardworking, and I'm talented. Nobody will. I do this shit for my son. Mm -mm. So that's the situation. That's how she feels about the situation, how she feels about the brat too as well. It seemed like, you know, remarkable, you know, basically easy E's daughter. She should have probably went with her first instinct and left the brat and um Miss Deb alone because at the end of the day they try to make her look bad, real bad, like she's hard to work with, that she can't write off top of the dome. She can't, you know, and basically she would not, you know, um, she it like she wouldn't follow directions. She wouldn't listen to OGs and vets, and she can't comprehend and get what you know. Basically, writing about your pain mean or whatever the case may be. You know, when she's an upcoming artist, you don't do shit like that to make her look bad, to make people not want to work with her, especially just for a TV show. And just at the end of the day, when you guys didn't even produce a song for the show, that's not even a song that was produced on the show that we could actually listen to. So you got Deb and you got the brat talking about they vets and this and that, diamonds a vet, whatever the case may be brat got two studios you know deb got a studio at her home she got a, a son got a studio you know not the one that we know rocka flocka but the other one and waka flocka too as well and you're gonna tell me they can produce no music at all they couldn't get nothing out well then if that's the case don't just blame remarkable and take her off the song like she ain't nobody and if the others wasn't doing what they supposed to do too as well you know take don't have a song completed at all don't have a song at all so they tried to throw a song up in remarkable face and send it they took her off the song because she couldn't comprehend she couldn't get it the song was supposed to be about pain and only the way that diamond got it is because of the brat you know showed her how to do it but the brat and diamond are friends so it is what it is with that situation but in any event 
you know, it's just one of them situations where, you know, it's just, <laughs> it's just a terrible situation that remarkable, you know, she has to deal with. And it's just like, it's, it's putting a bad taste in people's mouth too as well. So it's just like, damn, how come Deb and how come, you know, the brat didn't have more than one song, you know, completed, you know, they're supposed to have a six, six, six songs for the EP and it wasn't even completed, but yet remarkable is taking off the song. Like, oh, she's, she's hard headed. She don't listen. But yeah, if everybody else didn't complete the task too as well to have more than six songs so you guys can pick from and choose from that means it just wasn't remarkable it just wasn't that verse it was more songs too as well so it's like they're not giving her her just due and they're making it out like she's the total bad person which is you know terrible and in any event i don't know how the music business go but one thing i do know is humanity and being treated like a human being being treated with respect and tell the girl hey listen we taking you off the song you don't got to hear about it in the streets and yes remarkable showed up to the event of course she was because she's gonna get paid for it too as well because she was supposed to be there regardless but then she hear from the street she can't hear from deb that she's been trying to have a relationship and show respect to she's been trying to have a relationship to, with the brat and show respect to her too as well and you're gonna tell me they couldn't hit her up and say hey we're taking you off the song or you, you need to record this and i don't know if remarkable basically when she had that little sit down you know with the brat johnny and diamond was there in the studio and jessica you know they heard her pre-recorded situation they should have told her right there and then that this ain't gonna work you're gonna have to change the lyrics you're gonna have to re-record come through come here or you know um remarkable basically should have said well you know what let me fix it what can i do at the same time but it's like damn remarkable saying she wants to do music with the brat she wants to do it again you know see if they can work something out she wants to be on the song with the brat because she respects the brat she likes the brat but in any event the brat is basically saying oh the next song you're gonna do is gonna be fire you know i want to hear it so basically the brat is saying that she ain't gonna do no music with her that is crazy that's what it seems like but the brat was basically going after johnny and all of a sudden it changed to remarkable like damn like, they really shitting on this young girl for no reason. Her first instinct last season, the other season, not to work with Dead and not to work with the brat was probably something that she should have did because it seems like they have a vendetta. Oh, they don't like her. They want to they wanna show her this and want to show her that. They don't have to show her by, you know, example and embarrassing her in the public. They could sit down and have a conversation with the young lady because they would want anybody to do that to them. You know, the brat would have been pissed off if she heard that people that she's supposed to be cool with and working with, the brat done sat down with Remarkable and had conversations with remarkable talking about she want to work with her but at the end of the day she can't tell her she's taking her off the song you know and she has to hear it through the grapevine and then they didn't want her to show up to you know the listening party you know deb is calling her swole here comes remarkable with her swole self you got the brat talking about i don't give a damn about the situation it's my record it's my song if you're gonna be replaced on you're gonna be replaced on it and the brat is talking just all types of ish i was like damn brat tell us how you really feel about her she was like it's my business and if i i I don't give a f about how you feel about this and that you know i know she's gonna feel a certain type of way she wouldn't feel a certain type of way brat if you will call her or tell her what's up or actually give her the opportunity to do redo it yes you don't make mistakes yes you haven't been perfect yes you want to see that she's so hungry and all this other good stuff so since she's not dancing to the tune that you think she should then i'm gonna embarrass her and take her off the song i'm gonna play another song you know and that song was terrible because you couldn't even play it so you tried to do her dirty and turn around they got dirt on you and deb you want to throw up the new song and say she ain't on there and basically making sure that she stand out that she's the one that is receiving a lesson and not the other people but the song didn't even come through it didn't even work and so you know, you got the brat talking about, oh, she gonna feel some type of way. And, you know, Diamond is basically talking about the situation. And Remarkable, she comes through. And here comes, you know, Deb talking about, oh, here comes Remarkable with her swole attitude. Swole attitude. Deb, how would you feel if you were supposed to be working with an artist and the artist turned around and got somebody else new but up, 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 neath under you? Didn't give you no explanation. Didn't tell you nothing. And you're supposed to be cool. Didn't that happen to you with Nicki Minaj, baby? So what's going on with that situation? So you think that, oh, let me teach her a hard lesson on national tv and also try to mess up her credibility what kind of shit is that from these old people i'm like damn i like the deb because the deb interview you know with drink drink chance was off the chains i got respect for her but you know the way you doing this you treating her like your mama treated you when you was growing up but in any event so remarkable gets there she wants to talk to deb about the situation because she thinks oh deb cares a little bit more and and the fact is neither one of them care when it comes to the brat or the deb in the situation and so you know um 
Um, so Remarkable basically is asking Deb, how come you took me off the song? What happened? Well, the brat told me I was supposed to do this and do that. You were supposed to be prepared and all this other stuff. Brat was like, oh, you talking about me? So now I can jump in this situation. Brat was, brat was eager to be rude, to be nasty, to be mean, to be everything under the damn sun. I was like, damn. She was like, well, Bray. You know, let me tell Bree, let me tell you this, Bree. Um, you know, it happened like that. I took you off the song. You know, the song didn't go your your verse didn't go along with the song. I told you guys to write about pain. If you needed help, you should have asked me. The way that she's saying, if you need help, you should have asked me. Like she's not capable of writing, she's not capable of understanding. The bride is saying, I made it clear to you that it's supposed to be about pain. And then, you know, um Remarkable was like, Yeah, so that's why I said all I need. And so it clearly Clearly, seems there was something. There was a communication, you know, misunderstanding. Um, the brass said it was supposed to be pain for something that coming from you, and basically, it may have been in pain for you know, remarkable when it came from, you know, the situation of. Of, you know, not having sex. And the brat was like, oh, you said having sex on a weekend is in your song. And Blase in the third. And then Diamond was like, well, I went. And I and since it was remarkable, since it was, you know, um, the brat song. And, you know, I asked the brat what she want. And I had her help me. I went step by step to give her the respect. You know, you're acting like, you're, you, know, you don't need to do all that. But, yes, that is respectable that she did do that. Plus, she's closer to the brat too as well. But in one situation too, you know, Diamond was going through an abusive relationship with Pimpin and they end up separating and um, he allegedly put some paws on her and you see that she I want you to write about that so she actually gave her an example of something to write about that happened in her life brat wasn't able to do that when it comes to remarkable because they don't have a relationship so the brat I believe should have made it really clear and remarkable should have basically you know ask the brat more questions you know because she's young her mind is moving so remarkable think okay pain this is pain this is easy let me do this let me do that you know basically not thinking that's supposed to be something that's traumatic because there's plenty of shit that remarkable can write about her father not being getting any inheritance she could write about you know people and her family on her father's side not claiming her you know or you know not her father's side but people of you know her family that is her family not claiming her and then the struggle she's having with you know rapping and then also being homeless all different things that she can rap about you know what i mean so in any event, so you have that situation. I don't think they really gave Remarkable a fair shot. They act like everything was cool and kumbaya were Remarkable. Then at the end of the day, they switch up on her at the last minute, the last episode, basically to say that she's hard-headed. Deb is saying that she's hard-headed. She don't listen, this and that. Then why the hell are you even doing music with her in the first place? You shouldn't have did music with her. But I guess Deb is saying that she gave her a shot and Remarkable proved her point. It's like they wanted Remarkable to fail. That's what it seems like. They wanted her to fail. They didn't want her to get through the situation. But in any event, it is what it is. And so the brat, basically, she goes on with her situation. And she says that you didn't do this. You didn't do that. And, you know, oh, maybe because you are not, you're not a veteran. Maybe because, you know, you're not a veteran. That could be the situation of, you know, of what's going on. Because then Diamond jumps in. And Diamond is basically saying, hey, you know, I went to, I went to, you know, um, the brat and I and I were I was a student I was vulnerable I was this and I was that and so then the brat turned around and says that you know what you know she's not a vet like us you know she's not used to things like that and maybe she's not used to she's not used to things like that because she's not a vet and you guys know that she's not a vet and you know she doesn't have no hit records or anything else of that nature that you guys have or has even had the you know any type of success that you guys had then you probably should have been more on her about you know calling her or basically make an appointment with her and said let me let me see what i can bring out of you because you brought that situation out of diamond because it happened right in front of you but you didn't give you know remarkable the same type of treatment and so that's which is not fair in the situation and yes remarkable should have been begging the brat she should have been all up her ass but johnny blaze was all up the brat ass and guess what happened her shit got cut and she's upset with it and the and the, the finished project she's not happy with it so you know it is what it is and any event you know remarkable is just her she's just like damn i was cool with the brat i'm cool with diamond knows it's messed up johnny knows it's messed up um buku knows it's messed up jessica ain't gonna say it's messed up jessica saying oh well you 
was disrespectful, remarkable because you came through and you already had it written down. Usually when you come up, when you already have your assignment done and finished and thing is already on point, people would appreciate that and enjoy that because a lot of people don't sit together and do albums anymore, especially with the pandemic and just, you know, it's inconvenient for some artists. But yes, you do get the magic when you guys are all there in the studio. So it should have been prevalent. It should have been clear that do not come with any shit already written down be open to change and let's get together and let's write so they should have had a writing sections together especially if brad if you're really going to take these women under your wing and be woman empowerment embrace them just because they have faults you don't turn your back on them and then try to make them look stupid on national tv you should have been writing with them remarkable should have called and asked you guys to write but young people don't know how to to do the things that the old folks want them to do and be students and things of that nature diamond knows you diamond feels comfortable with with you that's why diamond was there you guys are cool she tell you her business she wrote you in jail and shit so it's a different type of relationship so you have to reach out to remarkable too remarkable is just happy that you even want to put her on a song because at first you didn't even want you know johnny on a song so in any event you know remarkable's crying she's like shocked her man ain't even saying shit because he's shocked too as well and i know remarkable is feeling like damn i should have went with my first instinct but all this to have a storyline and be on this show she got to mess with these people so it is what it is she's gonna have to cut it up you know and just call it another experience learn and basically try to put some music out because she gotta you know basically keep her name out there be on be everywhere so she gotta suck this shit up and move on but now she know the true colors and how to really feel about her so she knows how to work differently and she can turn the tables and make them look like how they really look about how they really feel about her basically to keep going with them and trying to do what she needs to do and be friends with them on the show whatever just to get filming time to get some money to get some bank it is what it is sometimes you got to suck up your pride and do what you got to do you know what i mean because maybe somebody will listen maybe she can get a full song aired on this damn show but in any event it is what it is. So, Remarkable basically is getting the short end of the goddamn stick. They talking about her. They talking about her skills. You know, um, Deb is talking about she's this, she's that, she's not this. You know, you didn't execute. You didn't do this well. You don't listen. You know, young folks, new artists don't want to listen, whatever. Then that means that you, if you know all this, then why didn't you work on making sure that that didn't happen? Why didn't you make sure you got six mother effing, you know, songs? You leave it all on them because you wasn't really doing nothing because the one song that you did did like it didn't even come out clear and you're at a place where the shit sound messed up so you guys made mistakes and remarkable can make mistakes too as well she's still growing but you guys are supposed to be the teachers and the way that you're teaching is sabotaging remarkable in my opinion and you know i feel that way but when it comes to you know johnny johnny feels like straight up she's being sabotaged by the brat she feels like she's being sabotaged by you know um deb she feels upset she's mad she's disappointed herself she's disappointed everybody else because she said she did what she did she laid down the tracks maybe she wasn't perfect with it maybe she didn't encourage everybody else but when you got two people that are legends that, that got studios and got careers you think that they can hold it down so in any event the shit went left and it is what it is. And so when the brat basically said, when um the brat said, you know, she's not, sh you know, she's not a vet like us. She's not used to that type of stuff. And then Remarkable said, don't try me. Because Remarkable basically was like, don't slick diss me. And the brat tried to slick diss Remarkable early in the season. Basically talk telling Remark, oh, Remark, somebody wasn't humble. So that's why we didn't work. Or whatever the case may be. That was a slick diss, whether it was true or not. And she tried to slick diss his he hair. But she slick dissing her with the truth. It is the truth. She's not a vet. And she hasn't worked. She, she would have basically understood that, you know, Remarkable would have understood that I need to write in the studio with them. And that's what they wanted. But they already had their shit written. It wasn't like they came to the studio empty-handed. She just had her shit already produced. They should have said, well, we don't like it. Rewrite now. Or whatever the case be. Or rewrite in 24 hours. Rewrite in 10 hours. Rewrite in 5 hours. But they didn't give her the opportunity to do that. To even prove how much skills that she do have. Because she could have rewrote that verse. And rewrote everything right there and then within an hour or two right in front of y'all. Then y'all would have been shocked. And then she would have embarrassed y'all. And then y'all wouldn't have put that shit on TV. But in any event, it is what it is. Remarkable sitting here crying, y'all. Like, she is sad. I know she got an attitude. Yes, Remarkable got a stink attitude sometimes. But that's a survival attitude that some people have to survive. Which sometimes hindered them. But in this situation, she was not wrong. You know, there's times that she is wrong. And last year, I believe that she was wrong. But she might be right. And then we got her with the situation with Ayana. Ayana still don't want to talk to her. 
Ariana's talking about, yo, this girl got anything to say to me tonight. We gonna fight. And she's also happy that Remarkable is ripped off the song. And she's happy that Remarkable is getting into it with Deb, getting into it with the brat. And she's loving every bit of the situation. And she's enjoying it and laughing about it. Because that's just how Ayana get down. It is what it is. Ayana's a trip. But since her father is a humanitarian, we, we, we got love for her. But in any event, Diamond is just looking. Diamond know this shit is wrong. Diamond knows it is. But she's trying to, you know, make it better and trying to ease the blow. But ain't no blow going to be easy and took him. And so the brat was like, let me get the F out of here. F this situation. F this girl. You know, F that. Who's she talking about? You know how many people want to work with me? How many people, brat? Like, what's going on? Like, and brat sounds so good in the studio on this episode. Like, I was like, damn, I'm feeling the brat's music. The brat sounds legendary again. And then she was hugging Johnny. Then the shit ends like this. You guys are emotionally disturbed. And when it comes to, you know, Ayana, basically, she is not going to get along with Shania. She don't care about Shania. Shania said, we ain't going to be friends no more. So it is what it is. And, you know, Ayana is basically saying, ha ha to, you know, Remarkable. Remarkable is like, I don't got time for her today. And so now Johnny's getting upset because now the brat goes to play the music. And the music sound like shit. And so then Johnny's yelling. Johnny's like, I can't believe this. That's me on the vocals. And it sounds that bad. The chorus sounds bad. Everything sounds bad. Now the brat is embarrassed because she was trying to shame, you know, Remarkable. And the shit that she put on sounds terrible. The place with the venue where they're playing the music at, the auto sounds terrible. And we got two vets supposed to be putting this shit together. And then the brat's like, I'm leaving. I ain't got time for this shit. I'm out. And then that's when, you know, Waka Flocka was like, girl, why you leaving? like that you can't do that to these new artists you can't leave them like that and he was serious about that he was like that's messed up but he was also instigating then the brat jumped in was like if this was your wife if this was your wife and you know she was having a listening party and it sounds this bad you wouldn't let nobody hear it you would leave so he was like okay whatever the case may be so now johnny's going off johnny's pissed off she's going back and forth she's yelling she's screaming she's like this is terrible this is messed up this is low down this is dirty you know we had you know it doesn't take two months to make six songs everybody failed i fell i laid the chorus down i laid the tracks down i did all this stuff and now the one song that i thought i was gonna be young i I ain't even on that song. It ain't that one that they picked. They scratched that song. They scratched all five of the songs. And then she's talking about it sound bad. And how come we couldn't get this together? This happened. I did everything I was supposed to do. Why am I being the one to blame? You know, it's not my fault this time. And she's upset and regretting working with everybody because nobody did what they're supposed to do. So she's screaming. She's yelling. She's causing chaotic commotion. The Deb comes outside. Deb is mad. Deb is pissed at her. Deb is saying that, oh, I shouldn't work with Johnny. I knew I shouldn't have worked with Johnny. I knew I shouldn't have did nothing with Johnny. You know, so the Deb basically is pissed off by the situation. And she said, I should have listened to the brat. I should have listened to the brat. You know, the brat told me not to work with her. The brat told me not to do nothing with her. So the Deb is totally, you know, on one. She's totally upset. She's mad. She's telling Johnny to shut up. She's telling Johnny to be quiet. You know, um, she was like, why are you yelling? This is a part of the life this is the music business and if you can't you can't handle getting scrapped you can't handle things not working out like this then you can't handle the business so the deb is like i'm totally done this is not gonna happen and you know johnny is just trying to let off air she ain't trying to fight nobody he's just yelling and screaming just basically being a part of herself who she is she ain't yelling inside the venue she's outside yelling but she's and nobody is mad at her because they all fell and she's like damn you know they really didn't fail because i don't even think there was ever really a project but peace and love y'all